We need a corman to come help we us really do. dispel these myths. I don't know. Horny. I, I horny. think it needs a zero one to zero three. Just too horny. Hazardously horny. Hazardous. Listen, I I, I will say this. I've been earmuffs, cons, and chaps. Mm. Like, I, I've been horny at times yeah. in my life. A couple times. I have a kid. More like, more like earmuffs Joe. Mm. Earmuffs dad. <laughs> I Every now and then, I get a little horny. But I've never been so horny that I'm like, I'm going to, I got to go play. I'm going to electric guitar myself right now. I'm going to drive my car off a cliff. Like, I've never been that horny. You know what? what I mean? No. Like, That's I a normal gotta, example. Yeah. I too have yeah. never been so horny that I've never been so cliff. horny that like, I'm going to go to town on myself while I'm driving on I'm the highway. So, you know what I mean? I'm going like, to throw but, Louise but, this but, thing. I think that all of us have done. I mean, we've done some things. South Carolina squeeze are on a bus. I was in the pine trees behind a Catholic school. See, I think we've all done things. Okay, I'm sorry, and that Mr. was Manion. hazardous. I would have been in a J.C. Penny. I'm sorry, Mr. Mannion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, but I've never put other people in danger, or that or, you know of, or spent millions of government money. To be True. horny, you know what I'm okay. saying? Right. I've never yeah. been that horny. Is what yeah, I'm you, you've saying. taken your horniness on your own. You're not right. putting it on ta- the taxpayer. The Any taxpayer is not thing. responsible for your horniness. Thank you. The only bad thing that could ever happen for me being horny would be to me. It's what I'll say. True. I feel like I'm talking myself into a hole. Here. No, you're doing fine. And boy, I've done that before. <laughs> oh, <laughs> talk some. Oh, nope. Not gonna nope. do that. Too far mm-hmm. even for me. Let's get H-R. going. Are <laughs> yeah. Round number three, a senior U.S. military scientist working on advanced propulsion technologies. You ain't kidding. Oh, buddy, propose in this asshole. That's all I'll (laughs) say. Yeah, that's what I'll say. (laughs) Woo! A U.S. military scientist allegedly tricked a contractor into hiring an unqualified sex worker. Now, what does that mean? How are you an unqualified sex worker? So I think that's a weird way to say that they're unqualified for the job they were hired for. Yes, Uh, they are a sex worker. They were very great at sex. But the modifier didn't match the antecedent there. Right, right. Great at blow jibbers, not so much great at Excel sheets Mm -hmm. is what we're saying here. Um, Who then went on to service other scientists at the Air Force Base. Dr. James Gord was certainly not using his Gord. Am I right? Uh, highly decorated. <laughs> Maybe he was. <laughs> Maybe he was. The have old Gord head. <laughs> have you seen one of those things? Buddy, have I ever? I read a blog about it. I was going to say, how do you think chaps <laughs> right. got hired? Yeah. What? <laughs> Dr. James Gord, a highly decorated civilian Air Force employee who died last September due to unspecified causes. Oh, God damn it. Now we have rest, to adjust the duty roster. I had no idea he was dead. He's dead. Um, he oh, had allegedly geez. paid the 32 year old sex worker uh, about $400 an hour for her services using a government charge card. Can I say something here? You sure can. I don't, feel, I don't feel like this article should have came out. Why? If this, if this guy is dead, what difference does it make? It does make a difference. <laughs> How? You know, we'll we'll find out. I, I see what you're saying. We, we can keep going with the story. Because but I it's see the more than just taking. him. It's yeah. more than just him. But he does. Because he's dead. We should the shame, shame, shame. And I love shaming people. And he's too dead to feel shame. You don't know that. That's true. Could, Good his point, ghost Kate. could be feeling shame right now. True, his ghost yeah. could be in the room feeling mm-hmm. shame as we talk mm-hmm. about him. Maybe we've summoned true. him. That Dr. James spooky. Gord could be right by. Ooh, ooh, um, anyways, according to federal investigators, Dr. Gord convinced Sakesh Roy, chief executive of Spectral Energies, and that's a contractor at Wright Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio. And this contractor has received millions of dollars in funding over the last 17 years. Anyways, Dr. Gord convinces Sakesh to hire this woman in 2017. Dr. Gord oversaw the technology of Mr. Roy's company, and he was responsible for doling out the funding. The two men were like peas in a pod. They were good mm-hmm. buddies. So Mr. Roy told Dr. Gord, hey, I need an admin assistant and like an admin tech to work here. Dr. Gord is like, oh, I recently met a young professional <laughs> on a flight to Washington, D.C., and was very impressed with how she presented herself. According to the warrant, he told Mr. Roy the woman would be a good fit (laughs) and that she was a certified EMT and firefighter with a biochemistry degree from the University of Tennessee and had attended medical school at the University of Cincinnati. Not a bad resume. 
buddy. Just because she knows anatomy don't mean she's a doctor is all that's right. Um, Gord highly encouraged Roy to hire the woman, speaking highly of her technical expertise. That's a pinky in the butthole, guys. Mm -hmm. He then finished by stating she's also really hot. So he lies, says she's a doctor with all these degrees. And they're like, ha ha, get that shit. Yeah. So Mr. Roy hired the woman, but quickly became frustrated with her lack of capability in the position. Uh, Wait a minute. This lady not actually a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Over the first few months of her job, she wasn't timely with expenses, didn't understand how to use basic word processing or any of the software, struggled to formulate coherent emails and failed to provide her college transcripts. When Mr. Roy was like, hey, Dr. Gord, uh, she doesn't seem like a doctor. He confessed that you got me. She's a prostitute I met in Cincinnati. <laughs> I love it. I this feel story. like you got to come up with something else there. Like yeah. You got to have lie number two. You can't just go he from just giving said. somebody a job with made up qualifications to be like, you know what? She's a I mean, why wouldn't you just like, put it right back on her? I'm like, hey, sorry. She fed me this false this resume. <laughs> Yeah, gave me you, all these resources right, the that classic I called. man thing would to be to throw the woman under the bus mm-hmm. here instead right. dr gordon we have to give him credit honor, for this yeah. mm-hmm. he takes accountability he not only says you caught me she's a hooker he reveals an excel spreadsheet to mr roy where he kept his government laptop this is his government laptop with details of all that he had an excel sheet of all the sex workers he banged during official trips around the country paid <laughs> for with his government credit card this yes. guy's like a Why? Lance Corporal. Yes, exactly. <laughs> this guy is this guy's like Lance, um freaking Hunter Biden. Why are you just keeping track of all this stuff? Mm-hmm. I've what never seen someone with an Excel, an Excel sheet of women. We know people have had binders of women. Right. I have yet to see an Excel sheet. I wonder if um, this dude also strapped dogs to the roof of his car and drove 40 miles. When yeah, who that, knows? To the point where it had vicious and unrelenting diarrhea. Diarrhea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shout out. What's his face? Mitt, Mitt Romney. Yeah. Mitt anyway, Romney. um. Even more PFC, like, like, you know, PFCs will say, no, that's that strip club dancer really likes me. I can tell Mm -hmm. Dr. Gord claimed to be in love with the woman and that she felt the same way about him, even though she's still engaged in acts of prostitution Mm -hmm. around the Air Force base with other scientists from the Air Force Research Laboratory. You got to work. That's true. There's nothing more to be said about The bills don't stop coming. One of the scientists there on this Air Force base paid the woman approximately $20,000 a year to clean his home in the nude and perform oral sex on him. I mean, that's good money if you can get it, right? If she's into it, it's great. Whatever. I mean, I don't think that's enough, realistically. No. Because if you're, I mean, even $1,000 a month, like let's say somebody comes in twice. That's $384 a week on cleaning. Yeah, I, th- that's that's, a I mean, what's a going rate of a blowjob, Nick? Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> no. <Sorry>. What? <laughs> no. I just, he's knowledgeable. I just wanted to see. If I would say if it's more than five minutes, you got to pay me a ton. That's a lot of work. Anyways, despite her lack of qualifications, Dr. Talking Gord. Suck, alleged, yeah, man. <laughs> Sheesh. Despite her lack of qualifications, Dr. Gord allegedly urged Mr. Roy to more deeply involve the woman in the firm's research and operations. When Mr. Roy was like, this is getting out of hand, saying this is unethical and you got to cease contact with the woman, Dr. Gord threatened his life and said, if anyone found out about the true nature of this relationship, I'm going to kill you pretty much. Well, why in the world would you show him all the Excel documents? (laughs) You got to I mean, I don't care if the risk of death is there. Somebody shows me that kind of Excel document. I'm telling somebody. Yeah. And this is why I don't feel bad for for Gord, rest his soul or his ghost, wherever it may be. Uh, He stated he would come to building five with one of his many guns to end it all. He perceived this to mean uh, Roy perceived this to mean Gord would kill Roy and then himself. Mr. Roy sought to dismiss the woman, but was told by a lawyer to wait until her one year review to limit any liability. (laughs) What? (laughs) Two weeks before he was set to fire her, he resigned to take a job at Spectral Energy's main competitor, Innovative Scientific Solutions Incorporated. Longtime mm-hmm. stoolies, by the way. According to the warrant, Dr. Gord subsequently split the 250000 grant money, um, giving half of it to the new company and only half to the old. I don't know. He's getting weird with money. Mr. Roy is like, hey, Air Force, bad stuff is going on right now. Air Force gets all his devices, a box of condoms, women's underwear, and an empty bottle of Viagra. They're like, you have saved all your evidence perfectly, you idiot. A forensic review of his phone found texts between Dr. Gord and 27 sex workers from different cities. 
This guy should have been in the Navy, many mm-hmm. of whom are foreign nationals from countries considered U.S. national security concerns. Jeez. And this guy's working in U.S. big time stuff that you don't want. Spies Hypersonic like missiles that. is what he's Hypersonic working missiles. Um, anyways, um, he was even working with a coach, coaching the woman on coming up with a believable backstory. At this point, dude, if you have an Excel sheet, just let it in. Long story short, he died. So a lot of charges going, but I feel bad for laughing done. there, but it's true. He's, <laughs> he's dead. He's and it's fucked dead. up. I think that the that they're investigating the woman, obviously investigator for the false, fictitious or fraudulent claims do that. But just because she was doing a little bit of hooking around base. I mean, we need to legalize that anyway. Let people we do, do what they want to. We do. If you want. I mean, really, if you what's the difference? Like if if two people are willing and. I know that it's difficult because then you have like sex trafficking and shit like that. But I'm, well, I feel like legalizing it would help cut down on that yeah. shit. Right. And give people more Can rights I... and women would be less afraid to come forward if they're crazy right. shit going on. Mm-hmm. Can I say something that might be deemed insensitive? Sure. It's probably for the best this guy died because if he'd continued these practices. For him, this is the best case. Scenario. No, no, no. I, oh, yeah. For, no, no. But I'm just saying for our country because next thing you know, secrets are being leaked to other countries and our missile capabilities and we have problems on our hands. Oh, this so. guy was leaking a ton of stuff. My mm-hmm. bad. Probably. Oh, wow. We're not leaking. talking about just chlamydia folks. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. 